Hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today we're going to be talking about how to turn your sketches that you've done at home into vector images or whatever images that you, you want online. Um, I had to do this the other day, my son wanted a channel creator because he wants to do a bit of gaming. So um, This was the picture my partner drew, so we moved it and we ended up with this and uh, it ended up looking like this when we were finished with it so it's just something you can do with any of the sketches you have so um, to get started what you're going to need is you can be downloading this while you're scanning in your image so you're going to need GIMP and you're going to need Inkscape now you could probably do it all with Inkscape I'm not well up on Inkscape I only use it for the purposes of vectorizing my images um, I normally use GIMP so what you do is I'll leave two links in the description you can download these two they're both open source free software so you can use either and um, what you need to do then is go in to scan your image so go to your start menu device and printers and then double click on your printer That's after plugging out on me. There we go. Um, sorry, it's this one here. Double click on scan the document or picture. And then what you want to do is you come down here and set this to bitmap. And you can set this to 300. And you don't want it in color, you want it in grayscale. Okay. You don't want either black or white or grayscale is the best for, for bringing it in. So just choose grayscale. And then you can either press preview or you can scan it. Uh, if you preview it, you get a quick run of what it's going to show up like. And it's upside down, but that's not a problem. We can fix that anyway. But that's the scanning piece anyway. And what you want to do is you want to click on the image that you want to change. So we're going to do this one. And just right click on it. Once you've opened and installed GIMP, just right click and then say edit with GIMP. And the reason we're doing this is I want to move the white background completely. I, I only want just the black outline. And um, I find it easier to do it in here. So you just come down here to your layers. Dialog is down here. And right click and just make sure you add alpha channel. Okay. So just click on alpha channel. And then come up here to uh, color picker and then when you highlight anywhere on the white please just hit delete on your keyboard and it has highlighted all of this and everything else in the background has gone as you can see so it's transparent we're going to leave this selection on it what we're going to do is we're going to stroke this selection so we're going to go into edit stroke selection and then you're going to say solid color and you can pick however many pixels you want so i'll just say five you can play around with this and see what what suits you and just hit stroke and then just come up here and say select none and as you can see it's made it really dark so it's done a really good job on it and this will make it very easy when we use Inkscape to vectorize it. So it, it's not all bitty. It'll be real clear. And what it'll do then is it'll take all of this pixelated stuff around the edges. And it'll it'll tidy up all of that. So just go back down to this. And I'll just show you. I'm going to just add a... I'll just say white. I'm going to drop this below here. As you can see, you can see how dark it's it's gotten. So this is perfect for what we want. Um, when I was doing my image, I, I also had done a few touch-ups. I rubbed out bits and pieces that I didn't need, but don't need to worry about that for the minute. And once I was happy with that, then I go to File, File, and then I say Export. And up here where the file type is, where it's file, you want to save this as a PNG. So you just need to change that extension and just write in PNG and then just hit the export and you can save it wherever you want your desktop for handiness sake or whatever 
and um, hit the export as you can see I have it here already so I'm going to be using that for doing my vectoring so I'll cancel that just drop this down for a minute the next step guys is to open it in Inkscape we're going to use that to do the vector so you just choose whichever image you want you can either open Inkscape and import the file or you can just left click hold drag it over and it's, it says open with Inkscape and just drop it on top of it and then at last if you want to embed it or you want to link you want to embed and just click OK just minimize this and it'll take a second and then it'll open up I'll just make this fit my screen okay and in here then just drop that down it keeps doing that to me um, and then in here this is your image and as you can see all around the edges it's kind of pixelated and if you get your zoom tool you can see all these hard pixelated edges and hopefully when we vectorize it that'll smooth all of those out so let's hit shift go back out okay now to do this you just go over here to your select tool at the top click on that and then come over here to your image and click on it so it's selected you'll see these arrows here and uh, you come up here then to paths click on path and then say trace bitmap now if you want if you didn't go through the step of GIMP and removing the background like I showed you and um, there is an option in here uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you can just click on remove background and just click on grays so grayscale and then just click update and if you've removed background on it it'll remove the background as you can see this is the preview of it might look slightly distorted but um, once it's pretty clear uh, it usually comes out way better once you say OK so click on OK and uh, it'll just take a li little while for it to do it there we go and it's done we'll just close this and there's two options here although you mightn't be able to see it so if I catch one if I left click and hold and pull it over you'll see there's two of them and um, if I zoom in on it you'll see the difference see this is all real smooth this is pixelated look at the two of them crossed over so this is your vectorized image okay just go back out again and all I do then is I select with my select tool I select the original pixelated one like that I right click on my mouse and I want to delete it so I'm going to delete that then all that's left is your vectorized image and that's it guys all you have to do then is just go to file and you can save it as and if you want to save it as a vector that you can um, re-edit just save it as an Ink Inkscape SVG and it'll allow you to go back in and go over it and do whatever you like with it real basically so um so that's it anyway guys i uh, hope you liked the video if you do hit the like button and if you want to subscribe subscribe and i'll see you in the next video good luck